All right, so let's talk about the weather where the rains are here and at least for some parts of the country. However, the drought situation is unlikely to change immediately. One of the affected areas is central Kenya, which has not enjoyed consistent rainfall in the past uh, five years. Even as farmers prepare the land, not the planting season, our reporter Clement Masombo speaks to the Central Region Director, Lordman Lelkalukuli, National Disaster Management, regarding the current situation. Clement Masombo, good morning. A rainy season here in Nairobi. I don't know from your side, how is the weather like, even as you bring us up to date? Well, uh, very good morning to you, Brenda. Indeed, we have also experienced some uh, very light showers here in parts of Nyeri, Nyeri County and also in other parts of this uh, region. But uh, despite that, the drought continues to hit Kenyans and um, a number of them are quite affected. And it is for that reason that I want to speak to the uh, NDMA regional director here, Lordman Lekalkuli, to give us the statistics of the number of people who have, who have been affected and the, and the general status of drought effects of drought in uh, his region thank you so much sir for joining us live on ktn news we are speaking about central kenya region how big is your region and what is the state of uh, drought in terms of uh, the effects that it has had in each of the counties in your region uh, thank you so much and i'm um, lordman Lekalkuli, the county drought coordinator in charge of uh, nyeri as well as uh, moranga and kirinyaga and if you look at the drought situation here in this region, the, uh, the three counties is worsening day by day. And uh, if you look at, for example, now in Nyeri, uh, most of our rivers have dried up and the food security situation is worsening day by day. And if you look at uh, even in, in Kirinyaga, the, the same uh, is also as people have been affected as well as Moranga. Uh, the people currently in need of uh, humanitarian support in uh, Nyeri County stands at 30,000 uh, households. That translates to uh, almost 150,000 uh, persons. Uh, and if we look at also Moranga, we have uh, uh, a figure of around uh, 34,000 uh, households, and uh, Kirinyaga is around 64,000 households. So this is in total is close to almost like 300,000 households that it has been affected. And uh, the reason is that uh, uh, the, the October, November, December rains of last year uh, uh, was, were depressed. And this is also coupled with also when it rained a little bit, there were also the African army worm affected uh, most of our crops and also the rivers did not have water. And we see now that even the production, because these are uh, food basket uh, counties in, in, in our country, but uh, they have been affected. And uh, even if you look at, for example, maize, in some parts of, of Nyeri, the, the production or even the, the, it went down by even up to 90%. And in, in the same even to, to Moranga as well as uh, Kirinyaga. So you, you see even this also has affected key food security sectors. For example, if you look at uh, agriculture, uh, the, the, the areas that were supposed to be planted or the, the, the acreage has reduced drastically even to some areas up to 50 percent because there was no rain farmers could not be able to, to to plant and even in irrigated areas like for example in kirinyaga the Ziba, uh, the Ziba river has no water so it has affected the moyas where our rice is being uh, grown so even the rice production this year will be also be affected and this means that even our, generally our food security situation will, will be worsening in the three uh, uh, counties if we look at also coffee, even tea, even milk production, these are dairy uh, uh, counties where people depend on, on, uh, on uh, for example, milk, but now the production is going to be, to, to be down. And we will look at, again, forward, the, the March, April, May rains that now we, are, we expect to, uh, the onset is likely to be the third week of March or even up to the first week of April, it is also projected that it will be depressed. So it means that we have also to think what should we be able to do. And we've advised our farmers that now they need to think of short uh, maturing, uh, uh, to grow short maturing crops so that they can be able to, to, to harness and be able to harvest. And also be able to, to, to utilize the already, the already subsidized um, fertilizer that the government is providing so that they can be able to, 
to enhance and be able to grow their, 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 their crops. So if you look at uh, now even education, for example, uh, of course our schools are being closed, but for the last two months when the, the, the students were in school, and they were also affected, especially the primary uh, day second, uh, primary schools and also the day secondary schools. Because if you go back into their home state, there is no food. And this one means, again, the children go to school when they are hungry, so even concentration at, at, uh, at the class is also affected. So, and also in uh, uh, school, uh, school uh, fees has been also affected because, uh, you know, these are areas where people depend on now uh, maize, uh, beans, or uh, rice, and also the dairy, uh, so that they can be able to sell and be able not to, to have this money so that they can be able to pay school fees. And also, if you look at even statistics from our, from our principals, that most of our, also our students cannot be able to pay, or their parents cannot be able to pay school fees. And this has also affected learning. And, uh, we, and uh, of course, uh, we see that this is going to continue uh, as the situation uh, becoming bad. Yeah. But then maybe to speak as an authority, yes. uh, how well prepared are you in terms of now dealing with the drought currently and uh, because we, have, we are in the onset of uh, uh, rains according to the predictions by the meteorological department, how prepared are you in terms of dealing with the drought as well as the rains that we are expecting as a country? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, as the National Drought Management Authority, we already have uh, response plans. We've already put response plans in all sectors to ensure that what should we be able to do in, in case that there is no rain. For example, in water, uh, we've already had uh, plans uh, that to rehabilitate boreholes because some of the boreholes have already broken down. So we are already repairing them and uh, we work to now with the office of the deputy president with also and uh, in line with also together with the Kenya Defense Forces so that we can be able to repair. Actually in Nyeri, for example, in Nyeri we are going to repair 14 boreholes and in Moranga we are going to repair two as well as uh, in, 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 in Kirinyaga two. So we, 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 are, we are in that line to ensure that people uh, are be able to get water. Secondly, uh, as, as also National Drought Management and also as, an, as government, we will not be able to allow our, our people to die of hunger. So there are already plans to provide, uh, already people have been provided uh, with food, uh, food relief, and the county government of Neri and also Moranga and also uh, Kirinyaga are working to ensure that uh, people are getting food. Even uh, this week, the National uh, Steering Committee, uh, that uh, the, the, the program which is called uh, Tulindane, or Kenya Tulindane, already is going to, we are going to provide food as in, in, in next week, uh, here in Nyeri, targeting close to around uh, 3,000 households, so that at least these are people who are vulnerable. So we are also providing, uh, ensuring that we provide uh, food so that nobody dies of hunger and and also we, 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 we our livestock also are being affected so we also plans as national drought management authority we, uh, we are also planning to distribute 5040 bags of uh, what we call uh, livestock feeds so that uh, our livestock could be able to get our feeds yeah. all right thank you so much uh, mr Le Le Calculi, that is the regional coordinator of uh, National Drought Management Authority, of course, giving us that general state of uh, drought in his region and, of course, uh, talking also about measures that they are putting in place as a government to ensure that they prepare well enough for the drought as well as for the oncoming, of, of course, as well as the, the rains that we are expecting as a nation. So that's all that is happening from this side of the country, Brenda. Right, Clement Masombo, Asante Sana, time for a short commercial break here on KTN News Center. I'll be right back.